My friends, welcome to this special Monday afternoon Raw Rumble. A little later than normal today, but recently we have been kind of later than normal. And I want to apologize right away for the last video. I did not realize that my headset was not working at all. After I uploaded it to you guys, I decided to watch it and was like, uh, where's my commentating? What's going on? So I apologize for not having any commentating whatsoever in that rumble. But hopefully this one will work and we will have a good Monday afternoon raw rumble. Let's get it started here. Number one, making a return. I believe this is his second appearance. We have Aladdin. Aladdin is ready to go. He's ready to see who number two is. So am I. The lights go out. It's dark in the arena. Making his debut for the movie Oliver and Company. It's Oliver! Wow! Someone created Oliver from Oliver and Company. I was like amazed. I remember Oliver and Company when I was a kid. Look at that. He's got his little name thing on his collar. So cute. Fortunately, they do not have um, any of the other characters from Oliver and Company as of this moment. Um, the little Chihuahua or the dog, which I cannot remember any of their names because I have not seen that movie since I was a young person. So, but I do remember Oliver and Company because I remember... Billy Joel singing all the songs in that movie. And I believe Billy Joel did the voice of the dog that helped Oliver, the orphan cat. So, anyways, enough of that. Let's get to the action. Let's ring that bell. Drop kick from Aladdin onto Oliver, but that seemed to hurt Aladdin a little bit. Oliver blocks. Blocked by Aladdin. Oliver prevents Aladdin from going against the ropes. Side of the Russian leg sweep from Oliver on Aladdin. Nice spinning kick. Nice standing shooting star press from Aladdin onto Oliver. And forearm to Oliver, and Oliver is down. Bear hugger at number three. Aladdin and Oliver better watch out for this big guy. Nice headbutt from Oliver onto Aladdin. Nice miss from Bear Hugger. But Bear Hugger pushes Oliver out of the way. Like, And he pushes Aladdin out of the way. Now he needs Oliver. Kicks him. Hits him. Body slams Oliver. Oliver gets right back up though. Check out Oliver. Yeah. DDT Bear Hugger. Bear Hugger just has no response to that. Number four. Making his return. The genie of the lamp. Will he help out Aladdin? His good friend Aladdin. Or will he try to eliminate Aladdin? Sidewalk slam from the genie onto Oliver. Now Oliver is not getting up. Bear Hugger takes down Aladdin. Genie now lifts up Hugger and slams him. Oh, Aladdin tried to give the genie a hug. But the genie did not want to accept it from behind. Whoa, look at the strength from the genie. Then a drop kick from behind from Aladdin on the genie. Oliver and Bear Hugger double teaming Aladdin. Aladdin's no way. Making his debut, Jake Long. Um, can someone in the comments, if you don't mind, explain to me what Jake Long is from? I believe he's a boy turned to a dragon. I don't know anything about um, Jake Long. But it was a dragon, so it's like, hey, let's put a dragon in. Why not? 
making his return after being gone for a little while. Eeyore. Eeyore still doesn't have his tail. Maybe someone will have his tail. Maybe he'll fight it if he wins the Rumble and goes to the championship. Who knows? Nice body splash from Eeyore on the Bear Hugger. Missed drop kick from Oliver. Missed drop kick from the ropes from Jake Long. Here Karana from Oliver on the Eeyore. Side super kick there from Bear Hugger. Farfor making his debut at number seven. I don't know who Farfor is. So. Anyways, just like Jake Long, I don't know who that is. I don't know who Farfor is. But they're making their debuts. And who's going to be number eight? Who's going to fill this ring? Because we have no eliminations as of yet. State Puff. Some beefy people are coming in this rumble now. Nice DDT from Jake Long on uh, Stay Puff, but Stay Puff gets right back up. Bear Hugger DDT'd by the Genie. Whoa! That pickup choke slam from Stay Puff on the Eeyore. Amazing DDT'd Stay Puff from um, <clears throat> uh, Far Four. Gorilla Press Slam reversed from Genie onto Bear Hugger. Bear Hugger with that reversal stuns the Genie with a nice spear. Then a big boot onto Far Four. Oliver and Bear Hugger. Now. Bear Hugger and Stay Puff. Stay Puff with a sidewalk slam onto Bear Hugger. Aladdin and Eeyore now. Eeyore is now stunned. DDT Jake Long from Oliver. Oliver tried to do something to Stay Puff but couldn't do it. And gets put in the corner. Is this it for Oliver? Is Oliver's debut done? No. Reverse DDT from Far Four on the Genie. Neckbreaker from Far Four onto Aladdin. Aladdin gets right back up. Suplex attempt. No. Reversed. So far we have no eliminations here, guys. Wilburrow into a DDT from Jake Long onto Far Four. Nice takedown from Jake Long on the Genie. Aladdin, oh, I thought it was going to be thrown out there by the Stay Puff. Nice power bomb from Far 4 onto Eeyore. Stay Puff and Bear Hugger. Bear Hugger and Oliver now. Bear Hugger and Aladdin. Oliver and the Genie. Double teaming on the Genie now. Double. Um. <clears throat> Russian Lake Sweep. And Eeyore has just been eliminated by Bear Hugger. Eeyore was the first to be eliminated out of the first eight. Is Oliver going to be a close second? No. Back elbow from Oliver onto the Genie. But then Genie reverses and knees Oliver right into the gut. Picks up Oliver. Oliver slips right off the Genie. Nice arm drag takedown from Jake Long onto Oliver. Oliver thrown into Bear Hugger. Then drop kick from behind from this dragon kid onto Oliver. Bear Hugger and Stay Puff. Aladdin in the corner. Far four is trying to get his first elimination. Stay Puff is now stunned. Bear Hugger thrown into the corner by Jake Long. Aladdin and Far Four. Far Four could be lifted up here. He is. Is this it for Far Four? Is Far Four's debut done? I don't think so. What is Oliver doing to Stay Puff? Making his return. We haven't seen him in quite a while. Kick Cloud Kicker has made his return. I really wish they had Baloo in this game. I'd really like to have Baloo. But we have Kick Cloud Kicker from Tailspin. So <clears throat> Oliver is now stunned. As you guys can tell. Even though we're not in a Disney ring today, but looks like a lot of Disney characters are returning today. Huh. Quite interesting. But you know what? You got to give these people opportunities every now and then. 
What is Jake Long doing? What is he? He had an opportunity to get rid of a kick cloud kicker right away and does nothing. Aladdin put in the bear hug by State Puff. So the eight participants we have, we have Aladdin, we have Oliver, we have Bear Hugger, we have the Genie, Jake Long, Kit Cloud Kicker, Bar Four, and State Puff. Aladdin finally gets out of that bear hug from State Puff. Drop kick miss, or no, I guess that drop kick did something to Kit Cloud Kicker. And Oliver has just been eliminated. Aladdin has just eliminated Oliver. Jake Long has just DDT'd Kit Cloud Kicker. Oh, Oliver. Oh. Not a bad debut for Oliver. He lasted for some time in there at least. He didn't get eliminated right away like some people do when they debut. And Aladdin with a drop kick off the middle rope. Now Stay Puff and Aladdin. Bear Hugger and Stay Puff. Stay Puff thrown into the ropes and nothing. Snap suplex from Bear Hugger onto bar four. Kid Cloud Kickers taking out Aladdin's knee there. Stay Puff thrown in the corner. Genie thrown in the corner. Back elbow from the Genie onto Bear Hugger. Making his debut at number 10, J. Jonah Jameson. Does anybody have any pictures of Spider Man? I can't stand that Spider Man. Uh. As we all know who J. Jonah J uh, Jameson is. He's the editor of the paper in Spider-Man and he can't stand Spider-Man whatsoever. Don't know what his beef ever has been with Spider-Man, but ever since I can remember, he has never liked Spider-Man. He always thinks Spider-Man was a criminal. And did Kit Cloud Cooker just eliminate him? No. I thought Kit did it. And Aladdin has just been eliminated by State Puff. Aladdin is done. Bear Hugger and State Puff again. Bear Hugger thrown in the corner by State Puff. And Kit Cloud Kicker just got eliminated by J. Jonah Jeff Jameson. And Bear Hugger just got eliminated. Ah. Man, J. Jonah Jameson. Tongue twister for me, I guess, today. But now he is stunned. Far four is still in. Amazing. So is Jake Long. Interesting. J. Jonah Jameson is almost out of his stunned state. And a couple more hits on Far Four. He'll be stunned. Nice takedown from Far Four on the State Puff. Mr. Jameson now as nothing. Jake Long is just been eliminated by State Puff. Watch out, State Puff. Watch out. Oh, I thought someone was going to clothesline you out. And power slam. Running power slam. Now, J. Jonah Jameson. Jameson. Jameson is now stunned yet again. Making his debut. We have Wander. And someone please, once again, let me know who Wander is. Apparently he doesn't have his hat. When I downloaded him, he had a hat. But apparently he didn't want to wrestle with his hat on. Like a hillbilly type hat or something. So, I don't know anything about this thing. Or what he is. Making his debut, Champ One. Looks like Champ One is from um, SpongeBob um, cartoon. He may be a character from the SpongeBob series. I'm not sure. But Champ One and JJ Jemison is after him now. Stay Puff and Waiter Water Wander has just been eliminated. Pim is at number 13. Happy music from him. Happy friends. Him and Champ One now. And Champ One showing why he is a champ, I guess. 
but Far 4 just drop kicked him, but he gets right back up, and now Champ 1 pushes Far 4 out of the way. State Puff with the choke slam from behind. Nice hip toss from Jay Jonah onto the Genie, who is still in, which is quite impressive. Far 4 still in, quite impressive, and Blue Falcon is coming in now. He goes right after Champ 1. Uh-oh, Pim's in trouble. Pim could be eliminated here. German suplex into a short clothesline from the Genie on the Blue Falcon. Oh, Pim's not ready to leave yet. Oh, what a knockout blow. Oh, Stay Puff just cheated. He used brass dunkles on the Genie to stun him and to knock him out. Number 15, we got Tony the Tiger coming out. Any of you guys eat your Frosted Flakes this morning? I sure did. I had a bowl of Frosted Flakes right before I um, started recording this video. So, oh, oh, Champ One felt that one. Champ One felt that, oh. Low blow from J. Jonah Jameson. Nice takedown from Pim onto State Puff. Blue Falcon and the Blue Genie. <laughs> I guess it's going to be the Battle of the Blues here. There can only be one person to wear blue. And who could it be? Pim thrown over, but Tony prevents State Puff from anything else. Nice takedown from Tony onto J. Jonah Jameson. Oh, what a submission hold there from Pim on the Genie. But Genie gets right back up and Gets out of it. Far four just suplexed by Champ One. Tony the Tiger misses a clothesline. Falcon in the corner. Oh, Champ did not eliminate Far Four. I thought Far Four was almost going to get eliminated. Oh, is State Puff going to get eliminated here by Champ One? No. He reverses with a few elbows to the gut on the Champ One. What a forearm. From Genie. And Champ 1 has just been eliminated by State Buff. That's what, four eliminations from State Buff in this rumble? Wow, Champ 1, so much for you being a champ. Nice clothesline from Blue Falcon on the, the Blue Genie. Wow, like I said, I think this Battle of the Blue is happening here in this rumble. Kind of like when we have all the Tigers after each other. Wow, this far four guy, quite impressive. He just stunned Tony the Tiger. And he just suplexed J. Jonah Jam Jameson. Jameson, Blech. Running power slam from State Puff onto far four. Far four is now stunned. Pim and State Puff. Aw, State Puff is giving Pim a little shoulder massage. Yeah, that's right. Relax, my friend, relax. I think he relaxed him too much. And now he throws him across the ring. Nice knee to the face from Blue Falcon on to Stay Puff. Stay Puff gets right back up, making his return after being gone for a while. We have Ted. I know I've asked this many times when um, we've had Ted in here before. Um, who has seen both Ted movies. And anyone excited for seeing uh, Ted the series coming out, um, I believe, next month? Oh, is State Puff finally going to get rid of Far 4? Is Far 4 finally done? Far 4 has finally been eliminated. Wow, what a debut for Far 4. I don't think he got any eliminations, but he lasted. He lasted a, quite a while. Good for you, Far4. J. Jonah Jameson is lasting pretty good time in this Rumble, too. I mean, so is the Genie. Well, the Genie was, I believe, number four? Yeah, I believe uh, he was number... When he came out, he was number four. So... And... I believe... J. Jonah Jameson was number two. I want to say he was number 10. 
Stay Puff's in trouble. Let's go back. Let's not look at this. Let's see if Stay Puff's going to get eliminated. Let's not see this. Come on. Get off this. Okay, Stay Puff did not get eliminated. Another running power slam from Stay Puff on a Pim. Pim is now stunned. Gargamel, number 17. We haven't seen Gargamel in a couple seasons. He's back. Oh no, if he caught any of his Smurfs while he was gone. This poor wizard. He's always done quite well in the Rumbles, but has yet to ever win a Rumble. But he's done quite well in his Rumble appearances. Blue Falcon and Gargamel. Pim and Ted, Genie and J. Jonah Jameson. Pim has just been eliminated by Ted. And no other eliminations at the moment. Ah, uh, Pim, you only have a couple more to go until you don't have a chance for the finals with your buddy. The Genie has just been eliminated by J. Jonah Jameson. Neckbreaker from Tony the Tiger. On to Gargamel. Ted in the corner. Ted could be in trouble. <clears throat> Is this it for Ted? Oh. J. Jonah Jameson has just been eliminated. But what a debut for him as well. Nice big boo from Gargamel on the Blue Falcon. Ted misses his move. Tony Tiger misses his move. Stay Puff just throws Blue Falcon across the ring. Tony the Tiger throws Stay Puff into the ropes and then drop kicks him. Gargamel misses a leg drop. Blue Falcon thrown in the corner. Is Ted going to take advantage? No, Ted's going to go right after Tony the Tiger. Number 18, we have Otis. Blue Falcon has just speared Stay Puff and Stay Puff is now in a stunned state. Nice takedown from Otis onto Tony the Tiger. Blue Falcon has just eliminated Ted. Snap suplex from Otis onto Tony the Tiger. Otis and Blue Falcon. Otis and Gargamel now. Otis is coming in here and he means business. Otis has won a rumble. He knows what it's like and he wants to win this one. He wants to go into a championship again. Number 19, Prince John, who has won, I believe, two rumbles before. So, Prince John, no stranger to winning rumbles. Nice back elbow on the Blue Falcon from Prince John. So I collect the Funko Pops. And yes, I know, an old man like me collecting Funko Pops, haha. -ha. But I just found, they just brought out the Disney Robin Hood series with Prince John, Robin Hood, Little John, the Sheriff Nottingham. It's like, oh something that I would like to start I think that'll be my next collection but because like I've told you guys before Disney's Robin Hood was my favorite movie of Disney growing up and now the monarch has just entered and Gargamel has just been eliminated by the Blue Falcon I don't think Stay Puff did any had any credit to it Blue Falcon thrown into the ropes and Prince John just ignores it Clothesline him, clothesline him, no. Number 21, we have Champ 2. We had Champ 1 earlier, and Stay Puff, oh, I thought Tony the Tiger got him. Now we have a Champ 2 in this Rumble. Another looking character from uh, the SpongeBob series, I believe. I believe Champ 1 and Champ 2 are from SpongeBob. Nice high knee from the Monarch on a Champ 2, but Champ 2 gets right back up. Blue Falcon and Champ 2. Champ 2 thrown over and not out. Otis and Prince John. And an F5 from Otis on to Prince John. And Prince John is now stunned. Oh, man, look at that knee to Tony's gut. Took Tony down. Kind of hurt Tony there. Tony the Tiger and Blue Falcon and... Tony has just eliminated Blue Falcon and the Monarch has just been eliminated by Tony the Tiger as well. Wow. Impressive, Tony. Whoa, Tony got right back up. Whoa, Tony the Tiger means business as well tonight. Him and Otis are really showing us something here. So is Stay Puff. 
Fred Flintstone has just entered. And Fred Flintstone just entered, and he just got stunned by Champ 2. Nice snap suplex from Prince John onto Otis. Body splash from Champ 2 onto Otis. Miss clothesline from Tony the Tiger. Miss clothesline from Prince John. Nice suplex from Prince John onto Tony the Tiger. Champ 2 in the corner. Otis is having some beef here with Tony the Tiger. Now he's having some beef. Ha <laughs> ha, he's a cow. Beef. Ha <laughs> ha. With Stay Puff. Nice reversal. And Champ 2 has just been eliminated by Prince John. Stan is making his return. Number 23. Not Stan Marsh, but Stan. Uncle Stan from um, um, uh, Gravity Falls. I have some friends that loved Gravity Falls. I've tried to watch it. Can never get into it for some reason. I don't know why. Just, it's just not my cup of tea. Nice neckbreaker from Prince John on, a fr on Fred Flintstone. Stan and Prince John. Prince John and Tony the Tiger. Dingle Dial from uh, Crash Bandicoot is making his return. When he was around a couple seasons ago, he did some damage in the Rumbles. And I do not remember if he won a rumble, but I don't think he did. And Tony the Tiger is in some kind of submission hole by Prince John, but he just got out of it, it looks like. And Otis is doing the three amigos onto Stan. And a running power slam from Fred onto the the Dingle Dial. Sprig Planter in number tw uh, 25 making his debut. Um, once again... Someone let me know what this thing is from. I would like to know. Oh, impressive. Wow, he comes in and impresses me right away. Wow. I should have brought this guy in a long time ago. And Stan has just been eliminated by State Puff. That's got to be at least um, elimination number six or State Puff. Tony the Tiger thrown in the corner by Fred Flintstone. The two serials after each other. Prince John has just... Oh, I thought he just eliminated Fred Flintstone. Running power slam from Stay Puff onto this Sprig thing. Tony the Tiger now and Dingle Dial. DDT from Prince John onto Stay Puff. Dingle Dial on Fred Flintstone. And Fred is going to uh, attempt to eliminate Dingle Dial. Another F5 from Otis, and Prince John is stunned. Otis goes right after Tony the Tiger, but Fred saves Tony the Tiger this time. And Tony the Tiger is going to be gone. No! Tony the Tiger has eaten his Frosted Flakes this morning. He's powered up, and he's ready to go. Jax Teller from Sons of, Ar Sons, Sons of Anarchy is coming in. Tony the Tiger has just been eliminated. Look how disappointed Tony is. Oh, Tony worked so hard in this rumble. Oh. It's alright, Tony. It's alright. We still have a few more rumbles to go. Because I believe this is rumble number 23. So, we still have some rumbles to go. And Fred has just been eliminated by Prince John. Jack's and Otis, Jackson, Prince John, Dingle Dial and Sprig, Dingle Dial and Otis, Stay Puff and Jax, Sprig and Stay Puff, Otis and Prince John, Jax and Stay Puff. Nice headbutt from Otis onto Prince John. Otis throws Sprig out, but Sprig is not going to get eliminated. Otis has just been eliminated by Prince John. Prince John has just eliminated Otis. Wow. Prince John throws Sprig into State Puff. Number 27. Ooh, Soda Popinski. Ooh. This is a really high number for you, buddy. We could see some damage from this guy. Or we could see him get eliminated right away. But no, State Puff decides to go 
after somebody else, but then he notices that he didn't finish the job. And that could cost him. That could have cost Stay Puff. But Soda Pop does the same thing as Stay Puff did. Ooh, misses that big boot. Number 28, Thomas! Thomas is taking engine at 28. Jax Teller is now stunned. Okay, Thomas. You have been around since the first season. You have never won a Rumble. Every time you come in late, you do well. You usually get to the finals. Come on, this could be your Rumble, Thomas. This could be Thomas's Rumble. Sprig is now stunned. Dingle Dial and Soda now. Thomas and Jax. DDT from Jax on to Thomas. Number 29, Scary Movie Ghostface making his second appearance. What's up? What's up? Oh, what are we flexing there with them on your shoulders there, Dingle Dial? Dingle Dial. <laughs> I can't believe I just called him Dingle Dial. Well, I guess it is Dingo Dial. I was right. Oh, I thought I was saying his name wrong. Apparently not. My bad. It's Monday, folks. You know, beginning of the week for a lot of people. So, whoa, Thomas just gets right back up. And Sprig has just been eliminated by Soda. Nice flying clothesline there. Nice power bomb from Ghostface. Nice flying clothesline from Thomas. I believe we have one more entrant to come in. And then our ring will be full and we'll have our final eight here, folks. I hope you guys are having a great time watching this rumble. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I really appreciate you watching. Missed Big Boot from Jack's on a Prince John. And if you guys have been watching these videos for a while, thank you very much for continuing to watch every day that I bring out a video. Remember, folks, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment on these videos if you'd like. Nice throw from Stay Puff onto Thomas. Are we, do we not have anyone else? Oh, okay, here we go. I was like, oh my god, not another episode where we didn't have a number 30. But we are going to have a number 30 here in two seconds. And it's Robin Hood. And Stay Puff just eliminated someone. Who did... He, oh, Soda Pop just got eliminated. Thomas and Robin Hood. Ghostface and Dingle Dial. Jax has just been eliminated by Stay Puff. Stay Puff has been in here for quite a while. So is Prince John. Wow, Robin Hood and Thomas are really going after each other. Prince John and Scary Movie Ghostface. Nice move from Stay Puff onto Prince John, and then a nice takedown from Thomas onto Stay Puff. Now DDT'd Robin Hood. Thomas and Robin Hood really have it for each other here. Nice takedown from Thomas onto Ghostface. And Thomas is in trouble. Is this it? Is Thomas done? Oh my gosh. Thomas has just been eliminated by Prince John. Dingle Dial just got eliminated by Stay Puff. We're down to our final four. Just like that. We had eight participants in this ring. Now we're down to our final four. Robin Hood and his bitter enemy, Prince John. We have Scary Movie, Ghostface, and Stay Puff. Stay Puff has won a rumble. Prince John has won two rumbles. Can Robin Hood win a rumble? Can Scary Movie Ghostface win his first rumble? I don't know. What a nice move from Robin Hood. Wow. But if Prince John has anything to say it, about it, Robin Hood will not win this rumble. Nice takedown from Scary Movie Ghostface. And Stay Puff could be in trouble. Is this it for Stay Puff? Stay Puff has been in here for quite a long time. But I really do not see Scary Movie Ghostface eliminating Stay Puff this way. Why the submission hold Prince John? You know better. Boy, he's really going after Robin's arms. Oh. 
Prince John now put into a bear hug from State Puff. Robin Hood just kind of in the corner, just kind of watching. Look at that. Prince John just tapped out. Prince John tapped out. But that doesn't do anything. Nice choke slam from State Puff. In order for you to lose Prince John, you got to get thrown over the top rope. You can't tap out. Whoa. State Puff has been really using that move to throw people across the ring in this rumble. Oh! Mm. There goes the State Puff marshmallows. Oh, Prince John just went low blow on those marshmallows. Oh, State Puff is now stunned. This is it for State Puff. Robin Hood's going to get rid of him. Nice big boot from Robin Hood. State Puff has finally been eliminated. Yeah, that's right. Take a moment to celebrate Robin Hood. Scary movie, scare, scary movie, ghost face, Prince John and Robin Hood. Ooh, I would like to see the final two be Prince John and Robin Hood. 50 years in the making, folks. That's how long it was ago that that movie debuted. And no, I am not in my 50s. Thank you very much. That movie came out before I was born. So, just letting you guys know that. But, you know, growing up when I did, you know, the parents had it on the VHS, and it was always on Disney Channel, so just a movie that I just always loved to watch. You know, I don't think I ever owned that movie. No, I did own it. I did own it. I was like, I had to think about that, because I remember renting it a lot when I was a kid at a mom pa video store. It was way before Blockbuster and Hollywood Video ever came about. And we would just have normal regular mom and pa um, rental stores. And Prince John, nice duplex. And he goes right after Robin Hood. Robin Hood in the corner. Robin Hood with the reversal. Robin Hood with the missed drop kick. Prince John with the hit. Okay, something happened there. Someone missed. Prince John with the reversal. Prince John and Scary Movie Ghostface. Scary Movie Ghostface and Robin Hood. Robin Hood with a forearm off the middle rope. Now he's focusing on Prince John. Prince John and Robin Hood. Ghostface clotheslines Robin Hood. Prince John, I think, has had enough of, of Ghostface here. Yep, he has. And he has just eliminated him. And now we are down to the final two of Robin Hood and Prince John. And is this it? Is Robin Hood done? But can you imagine that Robin Hood and Prince John are the final two in a Royal Rumble? Whoa, these two hate each other. Robin Hood would steal from Prince John, even though Prince John stole the crown from his brother. But, Robin Hood stole from the rich, gave to the poor, because Prince John wanted taxes, taxes, taxes. But who's going to win? Is Robin Hood going to win his first rumble? Is Prince John going to win his third? Snap suplex from Prince John on Robin Hood. And Robin Hood thrown into the ropes. And a low knee to the gut from Prince John onto Robin Hood. Prince John now takes down Robin Hood by his ankle. And now twisting that ankle. And Robin Hood gets out. But what kind of damage happened to Robin Hood there? If any. Prince John thrown into the ropes. Oh, Robin Hood misses. Prince John. Oh, is this it for Robin Hood? Is Robin Hood done? No. Reversal from Robin Hood. Ooh, short clothesline from Robin Hood onto Prince John. And Robin Hood from the middle rope, and he misses. Is that going to cost him? And Robin Hood thrown over, and out. Prince John has done it. Prince John has won his third Royal Rumble. He will make his third appearance into a championship rumble. Wow. Prince John has won. Shocker there, guys. 
I am shocked. I loved the final two. I think this was one of our best final twos we've had. Two bitter enemies, and Prince John came out victorious. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me this Monday afternoon on this Monday afternoon Raw Rumble. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you guys again real soon. And I really hope that my commentary works this time. Because I don't want to re-record this uh, video. Because it will be a different outcome. Anyways, I'm out of here. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.